In the beginning, his canvas is as pure as driven snow. It will take him 10 painstaking hours, placing one foot in front of the other 45,000 times to bring what only exists in his mind to life. This is Simon Beck, dubbed the world's first snow artist. A way of doing art that looks good and hasn't been done before. I mean, that's what every artist, that's the sort of holy grail of art, isn't it? I feel like I won the lottery. I'm, well, you don't have to buy any tickets. I mean, it's incredible. Snow art transfixing murals in nature's powder that have become a viral sensation. Simon Beck's work shared and sought after around the globe. It's geometry meets geography meets the power of the internet. And for Beck, an Oxford-trained engineer who hated his day job, suddenly a new career doing what he loves. He started just as a, a bit of a joke, really. After skiing one day, I decided to make a drawing on this area of level snow. What happened that day, an astounding design he later saw from a ski lift. I really had no idea how good it would look when I made that first drawing. I decided to make the snow drawing my main for physical exercise. Over time, Beck's snowshoes taking him on an artistic trek on pallets around the world. From Project Snow at Banff National Park to Summit Powder Mountain in Utah. And here to Minneapolis, Minnesota, a city welcoming Beck to its annual winter festival, the Great Northern. Ice carving, nice. curling. But the big ticket item is Beck's 276th drawing. Overall, I think it's pretty good. We should get a reasonable result today. He's always wanted to fill a stadium, and this is his first, Target Field. This is a, I think it's an engineer's drawing. It's been cut down to reveal just the grass area. Gives an idea of the scale of the drawing. Got to go out here in a straight line, aiming at that red cone there. He secures his snowshoes for Beck, his painter's brush, and begins. OK, I'm going to go around anti-clockwise. See, I've got to step over it. Tie a loop in it. I've done 275 drawings. It's still don't get it right the first time. The precision his work demands almost meditative, the hum of the city slowly dimming against the cadence of his step. I've never seen an artist create like Simon creates using his physical self to make a shape emerge, a beautiful shape in the snow, but he does it using his body. What has surprised you about this journey that's taken you into something that no one else has done before you? Well, that question answers itself. The surprise was the fact no one has done it before. I was amazed when I found it out on the internet. That's when I realized it really was worth taking it seriously. Beck used to pay the bills making maps, but along the way, training his mind to hold complex designs. Initially, did you start with drawings? The very first one was just a very simple five-pointed star. Beck showed us a bit of his process, most of which starts in his head. We'd start by trying to work into the middle as soon as you can. The middle of the space in which you're working? You might walk in on a bit of a curve. Ah, OK. And every line that you put on the paper is a line you will eventually have to walk physically. Yeah, you can't walk without making a track in the right. snow. Okay. That's what I thought makes snow drawing rather okay. difficult. The work can take hours, even days. This installation will take roughly 10 hours to complete. So I'm off to help. So the main circle in the middle is well on the way to being completed now. After it's finished, you go over all the divisions between unshaded and shaded a couple more times. I see you working with a single ski pole, mm -hmm. making very light markings. Yeah. And yet even now, I can tell this is a very precise piece of work. How are you so precise using just a ski pole? Well, judging the gap, it's surprisingly hard to do by eye. You tend to get a bit too close when you think, damn, I'm a bit too close. The eye is quite sensitive to a, a strip of white being not quite wide enough or a bit, being a bit too wide. Right, from above when you photograph yeah, it. Yeah, when you see it up there, if yeah. you, just if six inches in error with a width of one of those strips would notice. Just six inches, that's mm, enough to would, make a yeah, difference. Yeah. yeah. And now, I am now an artist assistant. Give me the pointers and tell me what you'd like me to do. The boundary yep. between a shaded area and an unshaded area needs to be nicely flattened down. And this is the shaded area and this is the unshaded. Absolutely. The flat so is the unshaded, OK. If you walk oh, along right, it twice, yep. you'll get a nice sort of edge. So try and smooth down the edge. OK. So it's a nice curve along the edge on the boundary. It reminds me of hiking. That's actually really nice. It's just nice to do something very simple in creating something beautiful. 
What about the ephemeral quality of your work? Do you find something beautiful in the fact that it will not always be here as it exists now, only in photography? No, this is a no. fact of life. It wouldn't have a blank canvas. It wasn't destroyed by the forces of nature. Mm -hmm. And also, it, it, I mean, really, it's graffiti. Mm. I don't think I'd do this. It wasn't going to be destroyed by the forces of nature. What are the high points for you? What has yeah. brought you the most satisfaction? Definitely the ones where you get a really good result, where, where conditions are dead right. And 45,000 steps later, the vision in Simon Beck's mind has come to life. When you realize, wow, I'm the only person doing this, and a lot of people are interested in having a piece of it, what was that like for mm. you? Well, for the first time I felt wanted. I felt like a more valuable member of society. So that's what this is about in a large part. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm now the snow artist. That's what I do. For Nightline, I'm Gloria Riviera in Minneapolis. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.